Hi everyone, this quick video is just going to talk about the three forms of a quadratic. And a quadratic is a parabola, okay? And a quadratic equation just creates a parabola. Um, I highly recommend using that program that I often talk about called Desmos. It's free. And it's wonderful for just finding out more about parabolas and any, any graph, really, um, using Desmos. And they have a, a, real, a free uh, a free app you can get and it's fantastic. You can do it right from your phone. Anyway, there's three different forms and um, each form has its own positives and negatives, I suppose. That's a bad pun. I, I didn't mean that. So, for example, the first form is called factored form of a quadratic equation and that's when things are factored. So you've probably practiced factoring before where you factor a trinomial and it becomes something like this. And the reason why factored form is really cool is because if you have a parabola, okay, let's say here's your parabola. Let's say this spot is like negative 2 and over here is like positive 5. What, what you can do with factored form is the, uh, you could say that inside here you'd have, well, negative 2. What you do is the opposite. You'd have x plus 2 right here, and over here you'd have x minus 5. And if you were to type that into Desmos, you would end up with a parabola that cut through at negative 2 and 5. These here are called the zeros, or the x-intercepts. And um, the usefulness of factored form is so that you can quickly graph a parabola just by knowing what these numbers are right here and here. And of course the A value right here is going to talk about or it's going to affect how um, wide or skinny this parabola will be. Whether it will be wide like this, I'm sort of drawing that, or if it's skinny kind of like this. I'm sort of outlining what that is. Okay, so factored form is very useful. Okay, over here we have standard form. Standard form is, well, it's not as quick just to go ahead and graph this parabola. Um, in fact, with standard form, I've made a video called Completing the Square. And what that does is it actually helps you get from standard form into this form called vertex form right here. Okay? And vertex form, I'll just talk about vertex form really quickly. Basically, if you have vertex form, you know what the vertex is of that parabola. So it would be at, you take the opposite sign of what you see right here, so that would be h, and the y value would be k. And so if this was a 3 right here and this was a 5, you'd have a 3 right here and a 5 right here, and that would be your vertex of this parabola. So vertex form is really cool because it will tell you where the vertex is so quickly. Okay, Standard form may not be as useful, but let's say you were to factor standard form to make it look something like this, then you'd know where the x-intercepts are or the zeros are. Okay, so um, that's the three forms. Um, by the way, if you had to go from factored form into vertex form, what you could do is just find the middle um, between, let's say it was a negative 2 and a 5, you could just find where they are in the middle. And I suppose I'm going to get into this in another video, but if you found the middle between these two, so negative 2 plus 5, you just add them up, negative 2 plus 5 is 3, and 3 divided by 2 is 1.5, so 1.5 would be the middle between these two. So this x value right here would be 1.5, and then you could find the y value by taking 1.5 and putting it here and here, and, sorry, yeah, 1.5 here and here, and figuring it out. Um, but that is the subject of another video that I'm going to do, so I really shouldn't be getting into that right now. Okay, my bad. Just remember, here's the three forms, factored form, standard form, and vertex form. And really, that's all we wanted to talk about in this video. Okay, very short. Have a good day.